I got a lot of feedback to my video on how to switch between a character and a car. Some comments say, okay, make it like in GTA, or how about the door animation in general, or what about all the animations that are involved. Let's deep dive into it and let's start with the animation. So all we need right now is a car and here is how I build it. When we are done with the model of our car, we just back and drop it in our scene. So if you model your car, please make sure that each door is one individual object. For the character animations, you can just go to Mixamo. There are some animations, for example, entering a car. You can see the character is entering a car here. It looks pretty nice. And I downloaded it exiting a car, entering a car and driving. For our car we have to do it by ourselves, so the first thing we do is we add an animator to our car and we create an animator controller. Now we drag the controller into our animator. Now we select the car and go to the animation window. If you do not see it, go to window, animation and animation. So if you selected your car and have the animator on your car, just click on create to create the first animation. Now we have to add the property. We just go to door front left and say okay the transform rotation should be in our animation. So I just arranged the points so that we have 21, 25 samples and uh, we loop this animation. To add the next animation we just go to create a new clip and we call this open door. And here we do basically the same again. We set samples to 25, add a property, this time the same again, door front left, rotation. And on start everything is looks fine so far, but on the end we will just change some things and therefore we enable the key keyframe recording mode, go to the rotation and just open the door. Uh, therefore we select the door and then we can rotate the door. And I think this is okay. And we stop the keyframe recording and just play the animation and we have an open door animation. We just repeat the steps so we have that we have a closed door, idle, open and open door animation. Now you should have four files. Uh, the closed door shouldn't uh, loop and the open door shouldn't loop. All the others should loop and that's all we need. We can go to the controller. There we have already our um, different animations and on entry we just make a transition on idle. This is the default um, transition and then we just um, cycle. From idle we go to open door, then we go to open and close door and then we go to idle again. Uh, we should have a boolean that says open and as soon as the boolean is set to true we should switch to the next date. And as soon as we set open to false we should switch to close door. We do the same for our player, we add a in-car parameter and uh, we can go from any state to the entering car as soon as in-car is true. Then we will switch to the driving state and as soon as in-car is false we will exit the car. I just add a button to the UI so that I have one trigger to enter the car. Now we're defining some animation positions. So we create an empty and this uh, is a animation enter position. And I set it as a child to the car and directly on the left, right in front of the door. The car will get a script, which basically contains the reference to the animator and a car state. The car state is either free or occupied. We do the same with the player state. The player state is either normal in transition or in the car. 
Then we create two methods. One is on trigger enter and the other one is on trigger end exit. Uh, and we have a new field called nearest car. If nearest car is not set and the collider is uh, the car, then we set the nearest car. As soon as we leave this collider, the nearest car is cleared again. Based on this reference, we enable or disable the car button. So as soon as we are in the position, we can click it. So we set the car button active as soon as the nearest car is set. And if we actually press a button and the player nearest car is set and the player is in the state normal, we can enter the car. The enter car method checks again if the nearest car is set, the state of the player is normal, the state of the car is free and then changes the states. So the state of the player is transition because now the player is in transition from outside the car to inside the car and the nearest car state is occupied. And then we start a coroutine to uh, start the animation. The coroutine just does the following. We just have the time and we add the fixed delta time every frame. And in this while loop, this while loop goes three seconds, we always increase the time and wait for the next fixed update. So during this um, animation, we make sure that in car is true all the time and the nearest car animation open is true and that the position of the player and the rotation of the player just matches our animation enter position. After we finished our animation, we set the open of the car to false. Now it's time to try this. Okay, let's click the button and yeah, something is happening, but it doesn't look very well. So <laughs> we have to change something. First up, we add a trigger, enter car. So that is fired from this any state. Um, so you have to be in car and enter car. And that's because uh, as soon as in car is true, this transition will be fired all the time. And uh, to make sure it's only fired one time, we uh, add this trigger. Then we change the rotation of our enter positions so that it matches our animation. And we added wife position um, so that we can interpolate between the enter position and the drive position during the time of entry. On fixed update, we just do a state separation. So on the normal state, we just do the stuff that we um, got before in our fixed update and now in car. Um, we do not need to check it anymore. Just set the position and the rotation to the uh, animation drive position point. And that's basically it. So I had to twerk some values, for example, set an offset for the driving animation because Mixamo exports are a little bit weird uh, when it comes to the root positions and finding the right values for the anchor points. And after that, I get my animation for entering a car and to exit the car, it's basically the same animation reversed. So um, I wrote a separate method for it. I give you the link down in the description. I won't explain it because I just would repeat myself. So you can have a look. Everything is in the Git repo. So make sure to subscribe because next time we will talk about driving and car physics. And uh, make sure to hit the bell button so that you get notified as soon as we start with the next tutorial.